everyone, Mr. Merkid here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set an avatar to your Skype account through the tool. Um, it's sort of a highly asked thing because there isn't actually an easy way to do it. Uh, the way I'm going to be showing you is using Skype commands. Um, I did actually use it as an example in the Skype commands video if you go back and watch it, but I didn't show it uh, the best way to do it or something like that. I didn't really. So I'm making a dedicated video to it. Um, so let's get in with it. We just want a button. I'll just copy one, and that'll be called set avatar. Oops, set avatar. And inside here, the code really isn't a lot. Basically, all we want is a string which will contain the path to our image that we want to set as the avatar. We want the command, um, like obviously the command we want will be set avatar. And then we just want to send the command to Skype. So first of all, we can just say dim path as a string, and that will be equal to directory path, which I don't think I made. Uh, and we need a backslash because we're going inside the directory and selecting m.png. And if you're a bit confused, uh, m is something I made here. I put an image within the directory, which I'm going to be using. Uh, now this method is like the hot, the hard coded way. Like I'm giving it the directory name, uh, but we can use like what I've shown you in the past. It should be here somewhere. You know the choose file and the show dialog, and you can use the file name like that. So you can give them free roam of the uh, the, the file they want to upload instead of hard coding it. Now what we need is uh, dim cmd. So this is the command as a string that will be equal to in all caps make sure it's all caps set avatar space one and space uh, we need this space because we're adding on the path which is here so it's going to be set avatar to one uh, and the path obviously the image we want to set and let's just go ahead and put this uh, create this directory path because it's sort of uh, Turn me off. Say dim directory path as a string is equal to my application info directory path, and that should be that sorted now. Yeah, which it is. And now, finally, Skype dot send command. Inside brackets, what we want to type is Skype dot command, and in brackets uh, again. We want a zero because that's the ID. Um, I'm, I believe the ID can be anything. I'm not really entirely sure if that matters. And then the actual command, which we called CMD, and that should be that. That should be good to go. So if we quickly launch that up and give that a quick test. Uh, while that's loading, I'll go over the Skype and ignore all that text there. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so what we want is. Oops. Uh, custom my credits, set avatar, and you can see my avatar up there has changed to well, it's just a little marshmallow which I found online. But yeah, that is it. That changed really fast. Um, so that is that. But next, what you might want to do is, like I said, with the file dialog. So I might as well show you it. And um, for those who don't always watch the old videos, uh, I'll just. I can take this here. Uh, we can paste that down here somewhere. So we can call that that, and then uh, inside here we can remove that and say we can just put that the code we created inside that. And now path is going to be equal to file select uh, dot file name. And that should be good to go. Uh, so, uh, I'm because I didn't really show you how to type that out. I'll just pause here to let you have a look at that. But basically, what this is doing is creating an open file dialog, and then the name you selected will be set to, or the file you selected will be set to path, and then we're using path the same way as the hard coded way, and we're setting it that way. Uh, so that's really it. That's all there is to that video. Um, so yeah, just before I go, I just want to say, 
haven't really been making videos lately. I'm probably not going to be making a lot of videos either. I'm going away for a week at the end of this month, uh, sort of making videos. It's getting kind of boring for me. Um, so yeah, if if there's no videos, that's probably why I just don't feel like making any. Um, but again, just leave comments what you want to see, and I will try and get around to them whenever I want to. Um, other than that, I hope you have a nice day. Please leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.